I have a sewing make to share with you and then I am also going to go to Joanne Fabrics right now and I want to bring you along with me. I am planning to do a little shopping for some faux suede because I got mine from Hobby Lobby and I really love the fabric and I want to see how much it is at Joann's. I remember seeing it there but I didn't look at the price or if I did I don't remember what it was. So I want to check that out and I'm also interested in maybe getting some denim. And my sewing make for today is actually this top that I'm wearing, which is Simplicity 8789, I believe. It is a bodysuit I may view E. And I will show you some clips of me actually wearing this. Um, it does have some, what is it, some gathering at the shoulders. And um, the bodysuit, I did use some faux, not faux, Lord. I did use some knit scraps that I had in my stash. So that worked out perfectly. So I didn't have to buy any extra fabric for the bottom, um, the bikini portion, the bottom little panty portion of the um, bodysuit. My fabric in this is kind of like a crepe fabric and it wrinkles quite a bit. So that's one thing that I'm not too happy about with this sewing make is that it, it does hold a wrinkle and it pretty it doesn't take long to get a wrinkle in there and then it seems to stay. Um, the other thing about this is that I did not add the elastic. There was it called for elastic at the bottom and I did not put that in like around the waist area. Um, I don't think I made any other changes other than that. It's fine. It seems a little bit big on me um, I don't think I'll be making this again, but if I were to ever make it again, I think I would go down a size um, But it's okay. It's not bad. I have had this garment in my closet for a while I made this I believe at the beginning of the summer and I never wore it So I decided to put it on today. I thought it would be a great transition piece to um, take us into or take me into fall because you can layer it so I thought this would be appropriate even though it's not um, you know fall quite yet but it is coming so yes that is my sewing make for today I am going to go ahead and drive over to Joanne Fabrics and I will come back when I'm there I just decided before I go to Joanne Fabrics I will show you some clips of me wearing this garment so you can see that and then we'll go to Joanne Fabrics Look at all of this. So they have like red, burgundy, beige, browns. And then down here, there's even more. Oh, the price, let me see. Oh, $23.99. Oh my gosh, it was not this. Oh, wait a minute, this one's $12.99. What's the difference? Huh, I don't understand the difference. Huh. Most of them are $23.99 though. Here's another one for $12.99. That's a little better. Huh. And the, the colors I like are $23.99. The ones I like the most. Huh. Alright. Well, that's that. And it happens to be in the same row with the denim. Which is also something I'm interested in. Okay. Well, I am going to do a little shopping and figure out what it is that I want to get. And then I will come back and let you guys know what I picked out. I 
think I figured out the difference in the price. The $12.99 ones, they only have the faux suede on one side. And then this side is like a different type of fabric. And then on the ones that are $23.99, it looks like the faux suede, uh, the faux suede is on both, both sides of the fabric, if that makes any sense. So it's the same fabric on both sides. That's just me talking though. I don't know if that's the real difference or not. And here's another one, for example, this blue one is $12.99. And this is a different fabric on the outside. But then on the other side, as you can see, it's suede, a full suede down here. I really love this orange one. And it is on sale for 30% off. So, I don't know, because if I get it, I would at least want to get around two yards. All right, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll figure this out. Okay, so I decided not to get anything. I really, really wanted that orange faux suede. I thought it was so pretty, and I was thinking I could make like a jacket or like a, a little coat, one of the patterns that I have, but I don't really want to pay that price. So what I'm gonna do is look around a little bit. At least I know where I can find it. I'm gonna do a little shopping around maybe on the internet or go to some of these local stores that sell fabric and just try and see if I can find it a little, little bit less. Um, yeah, I keep thinking about it though. Don't you hate when that happens? Like you really want something, but yeah. So anyway, I am going to go ahead on and leave. By the way, I have my water bottle here. I purchased this water bottle from, from Target. And it's just an aluminum bottle. But I love it because I really need to start drinking more water. And this bottle helps because when I'm at a light, I can just take a little sip here and there. And I find, you know, I kind of pick it up when I'm like waiting to do something. And it helps me drink more water. So I thought I would pass that along. And another thing, did you all know that almonds grow on trees? I had no idea. And in fact, that is my love share for, for today. So my love share is that there are a lot of nuts that grow on trees. And I did not know that. I know maybe I should have, but I didn't. And um, almonds happen to be one of them. I thought that that was so interesting. It's just something I never thought about, you know. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Thank you all for coming along with me. And I will be back in the next one.